Hey everybody, Matt Colville here. Quick Kickstarter update. And don't worry, uh, those of you, I know there must be some people following the channel who are really interested in the Kickstarter. They just want more running the game content. I've got a new video I'm working on for you folks that should come out this week. Uh, lots more video content coming. I know that there's been a lot of live streaming. We did a couple of live uh, updates and we did the Birthright video that was live. But don't freak out. Everything's not moving to Twitch. Um, I, I like edited YouTube videos like this one. So the Kickstarter is still insane. None of this makes any sense to me. We'll be doing lots of Kickstarter updates over the course of the campaign. I would like to do, like, I don't know, at least at least one a week, maybe two or three a week. Uh, it depends on how many, how much stuff we have to talk about. Well, stay tuned. But we're going to have lots more previews besides the one we posted on the site, the uh, link to the Paladin follower chart that you can get on the Kickstarter page. First, let's start with the coolest thing. We have an update to the adult ruby dragon art that we got from my friend Anthony Sixto. So let's fade to black and you can check this out. Yeah, look at that. Now, this is a, this may seem, these may seem like very small minor changes to you, but like my friends who were other concept artists, when they saw this, they were like, oh yeah, he, uh, he changed this and he changed, and I was like, he did? Well, okay. Uh, to me, this just looks fantastic. We're going to have more miniature or related updates over the course of the campaign. Stay tuned. Also, all the stuff we're going to cover in this update, it's mostly just answering people's questions and letting people know what's going on. All this stuff is covered in the FAQ on the uh, in the Frequently Asked Questions section of the Kickstarter, to which there is a link in the doobly-doo. For instance, we are now EU, 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 EU. We are EU, not EU. That's ridiculous. We are EU friendly, which means that you don't pay the import duties and import taxes. We do. Well, actually... You do pay them. You're paying for shipping. But we have rolled all that stuff in. We already did all our homework. It's all included in the shipping cost. If you are in the EU, the European Union, you can pledge with confidence. We've added a bunch of countries. Basically, as people ask, hey, do you ship to my country? We do a little bit of research. And then and then Lars has to go in and manually update every backer level and and add the cost of shipping to that country. It's actually not, there's not an easy way to do this. Uh, I, don't, I would not be able to. I would not be able to launch this Kickstarter without my friends. We now ship to Estonia, Slovenia, Hungary, Serbia, Bulgaria, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Croatia. Which, by the way, means that people from all those countries have asked about the book, which kind of blows my mind. If your country isn't on the list, and by the way, the list is in the fact uh, on the Kickstarter page. If your country isn't on the list, please come by Twitter and bug Sigvari. That's my friend Lars. He's nice and he likes people. He's handling all the shipping details, and if you pester him, he will do his best to make sure that your country is covered. We were able to confirm with our shirt vendor that we support men's up to 5XL, and I sympathize, I'm a 3X dude living in a 2X world, and women's shirts up to 2XL. We're continuing to look at different options so that the logo on the shirt isn't that kind of hard plastic that's going to crack and stuff like that. We want to make sure you're getting a good shirt. I realize to many people backing the Kickstarter, the shirts and the stickers might seem weird because you're just interested in the content of the book and you don't know exactly who I am and you haven't been following the channel so you haven't seen the progression over time of me getting a cool logo and stuff like that but there are some people who have been following the channel for a long time who think the logo is cool and we sort of imagined that was going to be the bulk of the people backing and it turned out that we really had no idea uh at all uh, how the kickstarter was going to work or do uh so we've learned a lot one of the most common questions we get is whether or not you'll be able to go in later and customize your pledge and add, like, buy more than one book, for instance. A lot of people want to order a book for themselves and a book for their friends and save on shipping. A lot of people want to go in and say, I want more than one dragon, but maybe I don't want all five. Or maybe I want uh, two of the small one or two of the big one. And will I be able to do that? And we believe the answer will be yes once the pledge manager goes live. The pledge manager is going to turn the Kickstarter into something more like a web store not exactly like a web store and it probably won't go live until the end of the kickstarter but then you will be able to do stuff like add two books if you want to there will be some items uh especially the live stuff uh like access to the playtest discord and the twitch uh month and stuff like that that probably you won't be able to just add all a cart but more updates on that as we get them but the point is, if you're in the system, you can pledge at the $5 level. You can just say, I want stickers, even though you don't want stickers. But now you're in the system, and no matter what happens when the pledge manager goes live, you will be able to go in and say, stickers none, books many, for instance, if you wanted to. A lot of people want to know why they pledged, but it never asked them for their address. And this is something where Kickstarter knows that a certain percentage of people will back out before the end of any given Kickstarter. And so it waits until everyone's locked in to say, okay, now, now give us our shipping address so it doesn't end up collecting a whole bunch of data that it doesn't need. I spent basically all of Friday and Saturday and Sunday and a big chunk of Monday just answering people's 
uh, messages from Kickstarter. You know, it was there were hundreds and hundreds of questions and messages, and everybody who messaged me got a personalized response uh, from me. People are like, I don't know who's answering these emails, and it's like, it's me, it's it's me. Uh, now I have help, but it was you know hundreds of emails answered. Everybody got an answer, and some people, you know, they probably don't know me, so I would get questions like, Hey, if I pledge at the Colvillian level, the Colvillian, the Colvillian level, the five hundred dollar level, do I get everything? And my response would literally just me in all caps be saying everything and then a link to this everyone and, and and that's it and so i imagine there's a whole bunch of people who back this kickstarter they're like this is a weird kickstarter uh, what's going on here but it's the matt colville it, everything so you you get me you get the meanest of the thing and that includes you know the subreddit that includes twitter you get my responses and i'm sure someday that will i'll, I'll regret that you know, but you're part of the part of the MCDM brand is you get uh, unprecedented access to me compared to some uh, people that do similar things like this. I think that's it, folks. Please, if you have any questions, I encourage you to go to the fact that the Kickstarter fact There's a link in the doobly doo. Come by Twitter at Matt Colville and you can ask me questions. I answer tons of questions. I often can't get to all of them because sometimes it's hours between my chance to update uh, Twitter or come by the subreddit because the great news is lots of people know the answer to your question not just me lots of people have been paying attention so you come by the subreddit you ask a question slash r slash Matt Colville and people will almost overwhelmingly be able to get you an answer in just a couple of minutes and we have a discord by the way with this Matt Colville discord I really should go in there and thank everybody I've been so busy as an addendum I just wanted to take a second this could be another video and we'll probably do another pre post mortem but uh, I've seen a lot of people online um, on traditional RPG forums trying to wrap their heads around what this thing is like it's to some people who pay a lot of attention to the industry suddenly out of nowhere this dude they never heard of has is is raising one of the biggest RPG tabletop kickstarters and they're trying to understand what this means as far as the way the hobby is changing and I'm not sure I have the answer but I will say that I don't view the success of the kickstarter as a result of like demand for this kind of product among tabletop RPG players, I think of it as being basically the success of this YouTube channel. And so obviously a lot of people in the tabletop category aren't watching this channel, and why should they? And so they are kind of taken by surprise that this all whole thing is happening. I don't think it was so much that there was huge unmet demand in the genre for a book with this topic. I, Although that is true to a certain extent, I think the bulk of the success of the Kickstarter is just down to folks who've been following the channel and want to help support it, and to everyone who's backed my deep and heartfelt thanks the only thing i want to do now is i just want to make a great product for you folks and that includes making more videos for you i know there's a perception that surely i must be running around cheering and and giggling like a schoolgirl. but in fact when i look at the numbers we're doing what i think is wow i really don't want to let these people down we got to make a great book we got to make a great book we got to make a good stream and really all we've done is we launched a kickstarter we haven't made anything yet <laughs> we haven't made anything yet and to me success means putting out a book people like and putting on a stream that people engage with doesn't have to be a lot of people uh but you know a, a few people a stream a, a game stream a campaign stream that people engage with and that we build a following online that would make me happy so thanks to everybody who backed more updates as they come we're i, I know a lot of people are waiting to see what the cool new stretch goals are going to be but we haven't really been able to, th we really put everything we could think of that we thought was a good idea and that we thought we could do in the time allotted into the Kickstarter. So we're going to try and do those things is the answer. We're not going to have this kind of running treadmill of new stretch goals and new add-ons because we sort of built all those into the Kickstarter. It is a very weird Kickstarter. It's got a book and minis and a stream and has anybody done that before i don't know so some of those things probably would have been and I, indeed they were add-ons originally and now now they're not anymore now they are going to be a reality we just haven't been able to come up with anything that we think would make a difference and that would be cool that we want to do and that we think people would believe in and that's that's the issue we don't want to put uh, stretch goals or add-ons out there that we think are gimmicky or cheesy or just there to try to drum up hype we want to make sure that we can deliver on our promises, and we've made a lot of promises, and now it's time to knuckle down and start making them happen. That's it, folks. More updates toward the end of the week, and as soon as I have something interesting to show you, and it is my intention that the next video is a running the game video, and we're going to, I'm going to give you a couple of hints and tricks. It's not going to be a whole symposium. I'm not that smart. A, a few hints and tricks on how to run 3D combat to make your life a little bit easier.
that might actually be a short video. And for those of you who haven't been following me, to me, I think a short video is 12 minutes or less because that's about how long a YouTube video should be based on viewer metrics. Uh, of course, I'm somewhat notorious for not being able to get a video done in less than about 26 minutes. And like, for instance, the Birthright video I just uploaded, I spent a substance, several hours editing a two hour live stream down to one hour for YouTube. So you just get the information on Birthright. But even that I think is too long a video. I think it would be better. And we might do this uh, for this Saturday's stream or maybe next, next Saturday's is make a, a condensed 20 to 30 minute long YouTube video on a subject like for instance, uh, Tolis, the, the big uh, campaign setting city book, and have that be a YouTube video that goes up, you know, Saturday morning, and then do a live stream that night talking about it, where we can just have a nice, friendly fireside chat and Q&A and talk about whatever. That might be a smarter way to do this. We'll see. Until then, peace. Out.